The layout that I have uh, completed here, I've tried to recreate a layout that you would have found uh, probably around 1955, which would have been started maybe right after the war and would have been increased in size each year as they added more things up until 55. Uh, I stopped at 1955. Uh, I felt uh, after that everything it got a little different. It was a little bigger and I wanted to keep it more toy-like. And also the newest item on the layout is from 1955, the American Flyer uh, barrel loader. Everything is basically, if you look at the engines and the tenders and the cabooses, they all say Lionel lines and also the passenger cars. The Irvington style cars were a carryover from pre-war and they were made in 46, 7, 8, 9 and then 1950. That was the last year for them. The uh, switcher, the NW2 switcher, Lionel did not make that with Lionel lines as the logo. I repainted a 623 Santa Fe and I now have a Lionel lines. NW2 switcher that uh, corresponds with the one that was in the 49 catalog. All of the accessories operate and all the cars um, operate that should, the log car, the coal car, are the two main ones. The accessories again, uh, again, are all post-war. A couple of them were made pre-war and also post-war. The 97 coal loader, the 164 log loader were both pre and post-war. The 182 crane is a post-war. Uh, the 445 switch tower, that's post-war. The 115 station, that could be a pre-war, but it was made post-war and there's really no difference in the two. The operating water tower is post-war. All the little cars and the trucks are from the 40s and early 50s. On the back side, you will see uh, an American Flyer house, which is in the early 50s. And we have another switch tower with a light burnt out. And we have a green elevator, which is American Flyer. That's again from the early 50s. There's a stock pan that I scratch built with a post-war a uh, non-operating cattle car in front of it. Then we have a Marks. Um, oh, I guess you'd call it an operating crane. You have to raise and lower the uh, boom and the, the hook by, by turning a crank. Next to that, we have two buildings that were made by Skyline Manufacturing Company, which made building kits. And they were very popular uh, the late 30s and all through the 40s but they were a kit and you had to put them together. And it depends on how well you knew how to put things together as to how they looked at the end. And these two were, I did not do them. I bought them uh, already complete, but I do have a lot of their kits that uh, I've always said I was gonna put them together, but so far I've yet to. Then over on the right, we have the uh, American Flyer bubbling water tower with the checkerboard top, which you would have found close to an airport. But it looks pretty good on a little hill next to the trains. The signals are all older. However, the way that they are operated, uh, we're using newer technology and that we have uh, the light, uh, infrared light which the train, uh, it actually reflects off the train when it goes by and it changes the light from green to red. And then after the train goes by, it'll switch back from uh, red to green. To be prototypical, there should be a, a yellow light in there, but Lionel never made a three light signal. The transformers, we're using new technology with MTH Z4000, which is a relatively new 
And next to that is an older line LZ type that was made up until 1947. And then in 48, the ZW came out. We have a blinking water tower, which you I don't think you can see the light unless the lights are off. And over on the corner, there's the, uh, supposed to be an operating oil derrick, but the mechanism uh, that needs to be adjusted probably should be replaced. Then we have a, uh, this is a replica of a sand house that the railroads used when they were running steam. This was scratch built by George Fisher. He used plans, I think, from Model Builder. And then we have the water tower. The lights are repros. They're not the old original Lionel 64 street lights. These are the ones that Mike's train house made within the last maybe 15 years. Uh, they're exact duplicates. So I use them because I like the size. They look more realistic than the, the Lionel lights that have a bulb that's about twice that size. We have 156 station platform, and then we have a, a 256 freight station.